Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to recreate this motion blur effect from the album uh, called Pollen by Tennis. Yeah, so it's a really simple effect. It will be very easy to pull off literally a couple clicks. So let's get right into it. So I've got an image that looks like it. Of course you can do this with any image, doesn't have to look like the original one at all. And here we go. So if you can, just cut out the subject and put them on a background. It will look a little better, but you don't have to do that. Anyways, so select the image. I've got this selected here, then go filter, then go blur, and then go radial blur. Then what you want to select is the blur method. You want it to be zoom. Then you want the quality to be good. And then you put in a custom amount. Uh, this really depends on how much you want to do with it. I am going to start with a smaller amount, like 37 to begin with, and then we'll do that. As you can see, it's kind of pretty much already getting there. But we are going to do it again. So we go radial blur. Hit OK. That's a good one. Of course, you can always experiment with this uh, trial and error. We'll up it a little bit more. So once you're happy with what you've got, you can do little little things just to pull the look together better. So I'm going to go to filter, and then I'm going to go to noise, and then add noise. And you can add a little bit of noise here. This just gives it kind of a more uh, glitchy digital effect to it. Again, you don't have to do this. This is just if you want to add a little bit more to that final design. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to recreate this effect from this album art. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.